Hey everyone, this is Julian, and this is Mugsters. It's a physics-based action game that's available on Switch. It actually came out near the end of July. There's so much on the Nintendo eShop right now that it's difficult to find stuff that's worth actually picking up. And Mugsters is a game that's certainly worth taking a look at. So what I mean by a physics-based action game is it does its best to simulate real-world physics. I mean, clearly it's a very cartoonish game, uh, it doesn't look realistic, um, but the physics certainly are. It does its best to simulate weight and the movement of things, um, but it also kind of exaggerates them. And so that adds a touch of unreality, but it's done in a, a very humorous way. So it's like exaggerated physics, exaggerated gravity, exaggerated motion. Everything is just kind of kicked up a notch. It really uses those physics in a creative way and demands that the player uh, think creatively in order to solve the puzzles in the game uh, while taking uh, inventory of, of the surrounding items and objects that you can manipulate using those physics. The gameplay of Mugsters is broken up into a series of levels which all take place on these alien-like worlds. It's very orange, uh, kind of Mars-like in a way. And each of these levels have a different set of objectives that you do on each of them. These objectives vary in different ways, but usually it's something like break out a few prisoners, collect a few crystals, and maybe blow something up. And on each of these levels, you'll find cars that you can drive, you'll find uh, explosive barrels that you can use to solve the puzzles. And of course, you can play multiplayer, you can bring a friend, and complete these challenges together. There's actually quite a bit of variety as you get farther into the game. There's a total of 30 different vehicles you'll be able to use, and, and most levels end by you flying a plane away from them. Um, but what I've seen is that most vehicles that you're using while you're solving challenges are land-based, you know, uh, with tires on them, basically. All of these factors result in some really memorable gameplay. I mean, you'll find yourself driving a car and maybe you want to dive out at a certain point to send the car flying into an object that you want to explode. Um, and maybe if you mess that up, you might end up having the car turn around and run you over. Uh, so there's a lot of moments where um, it may turn into a, a, a very humorous incident, something that you'll want to tell your friends about. And the core of this game is, is really what shines, especially on the Switch. This is available elsewhere. You can get it on PC, but, but Switch uh, is where this game, I think, really shines because of the format of it. It's these very uh, quick levels in a way. You can, you can finish them um, fairly quickly. I mean, you might not get all the challenges done right away, but you can kind of breeze through these levels, uh, especially early on. And that's really great for Switch, especially in portable mode. Uh, you're going from place to place, you might be on the train on the way to work. Um, that's where this game uh, is really fun to pick up and play. This game was also developed by one person for the most part. It was published by Team 17 Digital, but it was developed by uh, Rankout Games, uh, which is just a single person. Um, so you could tell that they put a lot of effort into this game and they created a really, really great product uh, for just having it done mostly by one person. So know that if you pay the $15 to pick this game up, you are supporting a uh, super indie developer. So I urge you to check out Mugsters. Uh, it's a really great indie experience on the Switch right now, and $15 isn't bad. And like I said at the top of this video, there's a lot of stuff on the eShop right now, and a lot of it is not worth your time. But, you know, Mugsters, I think, I really think is worth a shot. So check it out.